and we are celebrating today. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. We are celebrating the opportunity to be together again as a family here in the living room, around the piano, around the, uh, the drum throne that Grace is sitting on, and with you. Um, celebrating a new year and celebrating a new opportunity to uh, renew our commitment to spending time in the Word this year, being a blessing to those around us, um, and committing to renewing ourselves every single day by just trusting in the Lord's purpose and plan that He has for our lives. 2021 may not have gotten off to the start many of us were expecting, um, but we are reminded often as a family that this world is not our home, and um, we, we trust, again, as we said, in the purpose and plan that, that God has for, for us, and we are looking ahead to a new year and in the new opportunities that the Lord brings our way. Evangeline's going to start reading from 1 Corinthians um, and then move on into the book of Psalm. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. Do not fret because of those who are evil, or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun.
ahead and read from 2 Corinthians. Evangeline, she's reading from chapter 4, verse 16. Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. And I love this song that we just sang because we were born for more than just survival. We were born to thrive. Um, and um, Johnny Erickson Tata, in a couple of her devotions that I read uh, in this first week or so of January, she talks about resolutions. And so many people make resolutions at the beginning of, of a new year, and many of those resolutions tend to fall by the wayside. But one of the resolutions that, that she comments on that is one worth considering and one that we cannot let fall um, is the importance of renewing our minds day by day, renewing our inner beings day by day. Um, the inner man has to be daily nourished, whether it's January, February, March, this summer, or the fall, or uh, the winter of 2021. Whatever day it is, whatever time of the year it is, too often we tend to feed our inner being only on Sunday mornings or only on times when we're gathered together singing praise and worship songs, but we need to commit to be renewing ourselves every single day. Um, and so she speaks of that. And then as we, as we commit to so many things in the start of a new year, um, one of the things that, we, that come to mind is what will this year hold? What does the future look like? What lies ahead? And um, in one of her other devotions, her January 2nd devotion, actually, um, as I'm scrolling through my phone here to get to it, she talks about um, our desire to always know a little bit about what's, what's ahead of us, just to see. We don't have to see the whole picture, God, but if you'll just give us a little glimpse, just a little, a little sign, a little bit of something. Um, and she says, our insistence upon discerning what's up ahead is natural, but it is a hindrance to real faith. It's why God constantly encourages us to trust him in the dark. And she's speaking of uh, a reference from Isaiah chapter 50, verse 10. True faith means resting in who God is. He has charged himself with full responsibility for your eternal happiness, and he stands ready to take over the management of your life. He is wise and good, so trust him with what's ahead.
doesn't ignite fire in your bones, then I think you need to pinch yourself. That's an original song Evangeline wrote uh, in 2020 called Fire in My Bones. And I love it. It's one of my favorites. This is what the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel says. I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you for your benefit, who leads you in the way you should go. Make your ways known to me, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation, and I wait for you all day long. The Lord is good and upright. Therefore, he shows sinners the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches them his way.
our last scripture, our closing scripture before we, we sing our last song is from the book of First Thessalonians, uh, chapter 5. Evangeline's going to start with reading verses 19 through 22 and then jump back and get uh, verses 16 and 17. Um, but before she does that, uh, I, mentioned, I mentioned earlier in our service about the opportunity that a new, new year brings for us to be um, newly committed to being a blessing to those around us. And another one of Johnny Erickson Tata's uh, devotions this week was talking about the importance of being a blessing. Um, sorry, I have to get to the right one. Her January 4th one, she talks about, um, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars. She's uh, reading and um, talking about Genesis chapter 22. Um, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. And then later on, she reflects in her devotion that few of us are called to bless entire nations, um, as is referenced in the book of Genesis. But every one of us has a circle of family and friends. Um, and the surest evidence that the Lord's hand of blessing is upon us is when others are blessed through us when others get blessed through you. So when you encourage uh, faint-hearted believers or wounded friends or discouraged saints, curious pagans or questioning onlookers, you can be sure that you have God's blessing. Um, and it happens when we point people to the Lord through our unwavering example, our perseverance through trials, or our spirit of gentleness or gratitude. So is the joy of our relationship with Jesus overflowing to those around us? Um, I hope so. To be blessed is to be pushed deeper, higher, and further into the heart of the Savior so that his comfort and encouragement can be passed on to others. Do not quench the spirit. Do not treat prophecies with content, but test them all. Hold on to what is good. Reject every kind of evil. Rejoice always. Pray continually. And sing wherever you go.
to my soul, mountain high, valley low, I'm gonna sing wherever I go. Lord, bless our music, bless our efforts to play without too many mistakes, bless our minds and attitudes to be uplifting and positive and a blessing to those who are listening and watching. I'll give Evangeline extra energy since she's so tired. She's just she has to go up the stairs three times. I had a hair in my mouth the whole last verse. Oh, no. Any redos? Nope. She banged like way more times before. That's because I was waiting. It just yeah, didn't feel know. right. No, it didn't feel right. Why did I don't care. I was waiting. Yeah, it didn't feel right. We didn't. It didn't seem though. It was weird. No, no because I the only just, part that I screwed up was my singing. My entrance was terrible. I was waiting on the I, You train. said like here in this warm uh, yeah, feeling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting on the train to come back to the station in the right tempo. Oh, oh boy. <laughs>